Another centre of rallying excellence. Yes, it's Belgian, the Bukels to Spa. And here is a Gregoire de Mervius in his Pro Drive Subaru. And some onboard action here, some superb onboard action from the opening uh, Super Special. De Mervius really working hard. Just a short stage, but uh, you can so easily make a mistake from there. De Mervius throwing the car around. Jean-Marc Fonto on the notes, and here's another Subaru. A new sponsorship deal for Renault Verret. Belgian uh, driver, Flemish driver in fact. Running in the same sponsorship colours of course as the Williams car, but this very much a local Belgian deal. If you understand Flemish, you might understand the place notes, but I suspect you don't. And Belgium has a lot of top uh, rally drivers, including this man, Patrick Snyers, in the familiar Bastos colours in his WRC Escort. De Mobius, uh, faster than the Verret by about two seconds. Uh, what can this man Snyers do? Well, he'd rolled the car in testing three days before the Buchels de Spa, and so the mechanics completing a big rebuild. Here the old anti-lag system popping away and this is another British built Escort and this is the Miller's Elliott car being run by the former Toyota factory driver Armin Schwartz and really gets it sideways there. This is a last minute deal and uh, Schwartz trying to rebuild his career and some smoke coming out of the back and uh, what's happening there that looks Pretty tricky. Oh, I saw some flames, and now we have definitely got flames. You can see it through the radiator grill, and I think they're going to have to abandon this run and bail out of the car. Yeah, and uh, Schwartz is going to get out quickly, and we can hear later what happens. Uh, we had a problem that uh, a piece of the head gasket broke towards the, the cam belt, and uh, the oil pressure was releasing the oil onto the cam belt, it was spreading around in the uh, engine room, and uh, then it caused fire. Yeah. Yeah, now we go into the real meat of the rally at night. A 33-kilometer test. Jean-Pierre van der Valve in the Peugeot 306 kit car. Obviously a two-wheel drive, but uh, expected to run way up inside the uh, top five. And a battle with this man. This is the factory McGann of Chris Princhen. A name you may not have heard before, but he is quick and a factory Renault back machine. The blue flame spitting out of Patrick Snyers' car, but uh, tyre choice very important indeed. And uh, Snyers on the wrong tyres and dropping 47 seconds there to uh, Van der Mervius. But uh, the man who is fastest of all is Renault Verret. Here he is uh, recounting how the rally's been going uh, thus far. Very happy with uh, his tyre choices. Uh, just saying that uh, his Subaru is not in quite the same specification as the Pro Drive car. It does actually have the Pro Drive tweak there of taking out the back window so you can get to the rear suspension. But he thinks the uh, rest of the Buchels to Spa is going to be a very big battle and he'd really like to beat Gregoire. Well, now we uh, go on board again with that Renault Verret, who uh, is the uh, fastest rising Belgian rally driver, not much known of him over in Britain, uh, concentrated nearly all his rallying here in Belgium, and uh, here's some loose sections, which of course we don't see much in Belgian rallying, it's nearly all on tarmac, but uh, some typical forestry gravel sections, and Verret trying very hard indeed. Jean-Francois Elst, his uh, co-driver. But here is uh, De Mervius, a full factory spec uh, pro-drive car with the very latest gearbox. And the crowd's very close there, that's pretty dangerous stuff. And a bit of a mistake there, hangs the tail out into the bank. Very trying, very hard indeed. No, in fact, that's actually his teammate, that's uh, Bernard Munster, who we've seen in uh, Formula 2 cars in the past, in this new Winfield back team. 
Here is Patrick Snyers. And this rally very much about taking uh, the right tyre choice. And Snyers enormously popular. He's up over the bank. Enormously popular in Belgium. Just look at the way he's urged on. Here's Van der Vauer in the uh, two-wheel drive Peugeot 309. Or 306, I should say, actually. Flames coming out of the back car. Little touch of the uh, handbrake. Beautifully done round that corner. And again, the fans out on the road. And that is so dangerous. And this is Princeton again. Went well last year in the Clio kit car. Moves up to the Megan. Chosen by Renault Belgian to represent them in 1998. Bernard Munster knows that he really needs to attack the next section. But we have to tell you, soon after these shots were taken, there was a tragic accident where Munster was left with no option down an escape road and actually hit a film cameraman who was standing in front of a wall. And sadly, that man, who was not an experienced rally cameraman, I have to tell you, uh, was tragically killed. Well, here is his teammate, Ferret. But uh, it all went wrong for the Winfield team because his steering arm was soon to break and he would be out of the action. And so it would be all left to Gregoire de Mevius and uh, Patrick Snyers. Here is uh, Schneiers getting ready for the La Clementine stage. And on these sort of sections, they were really just going slightly Snyers' way, just a couple of seconds between them on these longer stages. Yeah, Patrick Snyers here saying about the battle with the Subaru. He thinks that in certain places the Subaru is a little bit better, but others, the uh, Ford seems to have uh, the slight edge. He's really enjoying this battle with uh, Gregoire and... Uh, it's uh, everything to play for, he says, as they go to the uh, final few stages of uh, this uh, major round in the Belgian Rally Championship. Here is uh, Gregoire again, who we saw rallying a good deal in Britain, uh, raced, uh, or rallied, I should say, an Opel. More on-board shots with him. Big sponsorship deals and a very, very narrow track indeed here. Have to be so accurate. Uh, a 90 right and then accelerating away. The Impreza with its flat four engine. And again, the fans get out into the road. Meanwhile, here's Van der Vauer, very firmly in the lead of the Formula 2 category. The rasp of the uh, Peugeot 2-litre motor. And of course, on tarmac, uh, these uh, maxi kick cars are almost as quick as the four-wheel drive cars. We've just seen it in recent weeks in the World Championship rallies. The Peugeots and Citroëns getting right in amongst the very top world rally cars. But uh, in Formula 2 on this event, the battle between the two manufacturers from France. And here is uh, Renault's new star, Princeton. Looks calm and collected, waves at the camera. Because we've seen these uh, Maxis doing so well in Britain. Most recently with Martin Rowe, currently leading the uh, Mobile One British Rally Championship. Here's the uh, Citroen Saxo kit car of Pascal Gaban, who uh, I think rallied a Mazda for so many years. Not much uh, sign of Group N cars, but here's one. This is Larry Coles, his first ever drive in the Pennzoil back car in a Mitsubishi Lancer, and he's leading Group N. Now for Demovius, it really is simply a question of staying on the road to the finish. Has pulled out quite a big lead. Well, the deal to actually run this car was only made two weeks before the event. Patrick Snyers threading his way through some of these very narrow sections. Lost the back bumper, I noticed that car. Well, the final stage is uh, held again at nightfall. The spectators there enjoying their barbecues. 
and uh, Demervius enjoying his ride in this superb Impreza. I'm not sure what that smoke was there on the uh, track, but here is uh, Gregoire saying, uh, well, in the morning we started very quickly. We were able to stay ahead of Patrick Snyers for the whole day, and uh, then I saw Verit at the side of the road, so I knew that the gap between me was uh, now quite big, and I could relax a little bit. Et donc toute la journée, on a augmenté un petit peu sur Patrick et puis on a gardé euh, une minute sur Patrick et euh, voilà. Mais ça faisait longtemps que j'avais battu Patrick. <laughs> it's longer in French. Van der Waal starting the 1998 Belgian Rally season the way he ended last year with a victory in the superb little Peugeot. But overall victory going to Grégoire de Mervius and uh, a show business style. Uh, Victory ceremony here, complete with the dry ice and the, uh, always of course the champagne, but also the music. Confirmation of the result, Princeton finishing fourth, Diddy Jr., whoever he is, actually finally taking fifth place and then uh, Gabon in sixth.